Hi there. You're in the lab with your mate JJ. <laughs> so, uh, if you've been following along, we uh, completed our Maxitronics 10 in 1 uh, kit uh, and we've introduced the Maxitronics Sensor Robot 20, which we're going to call the 20 in 1, um, which is another 20 electronics projects to do. Uh, uh, and uh, I thought I might do some uh, main, main show uh, videos. Uh, I've got a bunch of things to do. This is my project box. There's all sorts of stuff in here uh, to do. Um, and uh, yeah, so I'm uh, planning to do uh, some of the, the standalone Maxitronics kits that I've got. I've got this one here, which is the electronic crystal radio. Um, and I have a couple of other ones as well. So you, you'll see them in future videos. I'm going to do that. Um, if you have a look over here in the back of the, the room there, you can see at the top I've got my Xbox light, and that's kind of legible. Below it is the red thing with the white blur in front of it. Now, actually, I can see that very clearly says on air. It's an on air light trying to indicate that we're recording in here, you know. Um, but you can't see it because it's too bright, and it, uh, it, it doesn't come through on the video at all. It just looks like a mess. Uh, so what I wanted to do was, uh, you know, make a, um, a, a resistor, a uh, resistor, a variable resistor that has uh, the, the USB uh, uh, plugs in it so that I can uh, run the power through a variable resistor to use it as a light dimmer for my on-air uh, um, light. So I thought uh, before we kick off with just those um, uh, Maxitronics odds and ends that, that we might do that. So I'll pop you over the bench and, and let's see if we can make a variable resistor USB thing out. We're probably not going to need the scope, are we? We don't need the scope for this, so we'll take the scope away. Um, now, this is uh, what I got out. Uh, I, got a, I got a couple of um, female USB-A um, connectors, and I've got uh, a little bit of circuit board that I can pop things into. So... Uh, We just need to figure out um, which wire to connect the, the things to. I'm going to come back to this in just a minute. I'm going to have a break. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So uh, I, I just grabbed myself this USB lead. I'm going to plug him in over here. Uh, so that should be powered now. I'm just going to... Uh, I'm going to use the... Uh, the bench uh, multimeter. So uh, let's just have a look at that. I can uh, I can show you. I think the bench multimeter. Yes, there we go. Okay, and I'm just going to look up there. All right, now you've got. Uh, it's, you can't see because of the reflection. I'll, uh, I'll see if I can just turn those off. Is that better? Yeah, that's better. All right, good. So what we're going to do is uh, pop the, uh, I'll just show you while we're doing that. So we've got our, um, our female uh, USB uh, socket here. Uh, we'll plug that in there. And then uh, we'll just uh, buzz him out, see uh, where the power is, and then make a note. So we've just got to figure out uh, which pin is um, ground and which pin is power. Okay, there's five volts DC across that. Nothing, nothing, nothing. All right. Now I wonder if there's nothing, nothing. Okay. So it looks like power is basically on the left and on the right. And the, um, I might just put him onto continuity mode. Uh, yep, beeper is on, so that should beep, beep, beep. Yep. And if we just uh, we put that there and that there. Yep. Okay, great. So um, I think we've been able to conclude that um, <coughs> it's. Uh, <coughs> I'll just uh, put this here. We're going to draw it like this. And then the top bit is there. And then there's one, two, three, four. And this is negative, And this is positive. Okay. 
So um, we're going to want to run uh, that through, and we'll put the uh, the potentiometer. Now I'm not really sure which potentiometer I should use. I might just use the uh, this uh, 10 10k pot. It says B 10k. I don't know what the B means. Some of them are linear, and some of them are logarithmic. I don't know what sort this is. Now I might just uh, I might just hook this on here. Now this is a uh, component tester, and we're going to open him up. All right, now we're going to connect uh, one side here and one side here. Now the idea is we want to figure out what decreases. Uh, you have to keep pressing the thing. All right, that's no problem. All right, so that's low and that's high. Yep. So we're going to want to connect it this way so that that's low and this is high. Yep. All right, good. So um, that's our uh, potentiometer. I'm going to draw him like this and this, and then we've got one, two, three. I'm not sure if you can see that. We're going to connect in here and here. All right. Now, what's the date today? It's the uh, 13th of March. It's 13th, January, February, March, 2024. All right. So, uh, we figured out how we're going to wire in our USB-C females, and we figured out which way we're going to put in our potentiometer. So, I'll just uh, turn this off. We don't need him anymore. So, let's just... Uh, <clears throat> Huh. <laughs> what are we going to do? I think we might uh, just do the wiring. Just do the wiring. Uh, so, and then we'll glue the parts to the um, to the board. Uh, and I don't think I'm going to put it in a case. I'm just maybe I'll wrap it up with some uh, some electrical tape. It won't be uh, super professional, but uh, it'll do. All right, now we're going to need uh, some wires. So uh, shall we get some? I suppose we should. I've got all sorts of wire all over the place. Yeah, OK. OK. That's some red wire. And that's some black wire. Now we're going to connect black to black, and then we're going to connect uh, two reds. Now we're going to need a soldering iron, so let's, uh, let's throw the iron on. Here's there, that's safe, that's good. Um, let's chuck the power on, it's set at 350, I'm happy with that, it's warming up. Um, so, just uh, Actually, you know, there's probably, yeah, there's red and black wires in here. Ah, oh, no, it's got a thing on it. Yeah, all right. I'll just use this bit of wire here. Hmm. I'm not sure. What to do, what to do. All right, well, that iron's warmed up. I think we'll just use these bits of wire here. So, uh, it's positive on the left, and it's negative on the right. So, I'm just going to... Uh, 
take those off. I don't know if I'll be able to, uh, if I should snip them or, or if I should uh, pull them off, I'm not sure. I'll try pulling them out completely. I'm just going to try and remove the data pins. Okay, there's one data pin. And there's another data pin. We don't need the data, we're just using it for uh, power. So that's one done. And I'll do the same on this side. There we go. And there we go. All right. So um, basically, it's uh, positive on the left. So let's just do that first. Uh, cut him out. Now we're going to need uh, some insulation. Cut. So let's use. Uh, that's not what I want. This is what I want. This is my uh, my insulation cutter. I'm putting right up in there, and in there, and there we go. Perfect. And the same on the other side. Yeah. In we go. And pop. Great. And same again for this side. And pop. And this side. There we go. All right, so um, now again, it's positive is on the left. So uh, spare pair of hands over here and that back there. Now it's positive on the left. All right. So we're just going to want to put a bit of solder on that guy. Now, have I got a strip of solder? I don't. I'm just going to cut off some solder. All right. Let's just have a look here. The solar iron should be warm. Let's see how we go. There we go. seem to have worked okay and we're going to put uh, oh, we're going to do a bit more wire stripping that's no problem do that here and there it goes and here all right that's good so uh, fairly good to me. All right. How did we go? Looks okay to me. So that's one done. Now we've got to do the same on the other side. So it's uh, positive on the left. Oh. 
fairly good. And we've got to put in our negative wire. So, take him out. Oh shit. Uh, nah, I've made a mistake. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Ah, uh, how annoying. Alright, I've, I've, uh, <sighs> I've damaged this. I'm going to have to take it off and do it again. Alright, take him off. And take him off. I'll have to redo that. <sighs> so I, uh, I I accidentally knocked this pin out. It might have been okay, but I'm not 100 percent sure. I don't really want to risk it. And I've got a box full of uh, full of these things. So just grab us another one of those. You can see here, box full of female USB. I think they're the same. Yeah, they're the same. All right, good. So let's put them away. All right. Well, we're going to pull out our, our data pins again. So I'll just uh, pull them out. Out. And out. And might as well finish the, uh, the negative wiring over here. All right, so bit of there we go. Okay, I think that works just fine. So now we're going to do the other side. Uh, we're going to have positive on the left. Just pop in in there, and then. This guy. All right. Positive on the left. And pop him down there. There we go. Hey. All right. Try and get a bit of solder on that guy. pretty good to me and then we just need to put in the negative wire Is that right? Positive on the left. Yes, that's right. <sighs> and then we said that uh, we're going to put the one in the middle and the one on the right. So let's just do that. going to do this. Ah, it's not quite right. There we go. Yep, that's good. And then we're going to do the same thing for the other one. Let's put some solder on. over here and let's try and him there. There we go. That's pretty good. Just uh, 
rotating up just a bit, and then on, and that's good. Perfect. All right. Now, shall we test him? I suppose we should. Uh, I don't think anything's going to short out there. So, I've got this. Uh, so, that'll probably do us. Uh, put him in there. <clears throat> now, I guess I'll throw you over here. All right, now we're just going to plug him in here. <clears throat> so, this is the on air light. We take him out, he's out. And we'll plug him in. He's in. And then let's plug him in here. There we go. And if we turn that up, yeah, baby. So it's from, there we go. So let's turn it up enough so you can read it, but not so much that you can't read it. How does that look? On air. Hey, hey, hey. That's wonderful. So um, take him out, take him out, back in there. So let's pop you back over to the bench, pop him out of the way over there. So uh, our circuit's working, which is great. Um, so what we're going to do now is uh, glue it onto this bit of board here. Um, that should be no problem. So uh, that goes there. I suppose I made the cables too long. Anyway. Um, shall we use pot glue? I suppose we should. Or maybe I should just solder it on. I'm not sure. I'm going to try soldering this on. I don't know how well that went. Hard to say. I'll try the other side as well. All right. Yeah, that seemed okay. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Over here. There we go. All right. Yeah, I think I might have bent it too far. Uh, hard to say. Anyway, I suppose we just keep on keeping on. See how we go. Not sure how I could have done this better. Uh, I might try actually uh, zip tying down these uh,
these wires. I want them just to come this way. And uh, same for for this side. Eh, I'll do. I'm just going to, uh, I'm just going to zip tie him on. I don't need to glue him on. Let's try. Oh, I don't know. I just don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Well, it seems about right to me. So uh, let's just trim off the uh, the zip ties. One, two, three, four. And I suppose we might as well just plug him in and make sure he's still working. So let's give that a go. I'll just uh, three over here while we do that. So we're going to plug him in here and him in here, and up and down, up and down. That's working just fine. So, the only other thing that I really wanted to do uh, was wrap it all up with, uh, with tape. So, um, my tape here, this is actually running low, I might finish this reel. All right, so put him in there, and around we go. Oh, I might as well show you what I'm doing. This is my, uh, my tape. use up this whole reel of tape and when it runs out we'll tie him off that'll be that there he is all right so we'll just uh, snip that with the, the old scissors and then bang there we are so uh, <coughs> we can install this now Yeah, put you back over there, and take him out of there, put him in there, and then about in there, and turn him up a bit. There we go, on here. So uh, that's the first time you've actually been able to see that 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 light. Do I want to do one for the Xbox as well? I suppose I could. I 
food. I'm not sure. No, I don't think so. I'm happy with that. So uh, off goes the old uh, iron. And uh, yeah. Um, finished. So uh, that was just making a, uh, a USB uh, uh, variable resistor thing out for the for the, the on air light. So the on air light's working. Got our thing made. It's installed. Laughing. So uh, up next, I'm going to do an old book review and a new book review, and those will be coming out soon. So stick around if you want to see those. Um, and then uh, then I'm going to keep on with a couple of the odd Maxitronics uh, bits and pieces, and then eventually we'll get over to our robot sensor. Sensor Robot 20, the 20 in one of the Maxitronics project. So, uh, yeah, it's good to be back here on the main show. Uh, oh, yeah, of course, uh, um, today's uh, silly job title is Spark Slinger. So, I'm the Spark Slinger, and um, I'm going to do uh, uh, an old book review and a new book review, but I haven't picked the books yet. Give me a second. Back. So, uh, yeah, I picked the, I picked the books so that, that will go with this video. So, the old book that we'll be looking at is The Dictionary of Electronics by Harley Carter. Um, not sure when that was published. See if we can figure that out quickly. First published 1960, second edition 1963. So that's pretty old. And then I thought I'd follow on. The, the new book that we did recently, the inaugural new book, was The Art of Electronics. Um, this is The Art of Electronics, the X chapters. So I figure we might as well just have a look at that as well. So if you're interested in either of those two, uh, don't forget to subscribe because uh, be, the videos of those will be coming out uh, soon. So um, look forward to doing that with you. And uh, that's everything for now. See you again soon.